Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have 1 to the power of m equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here first we check is this equation has real roots or not. So, uh, so that first we will just directly take the log on both of the sides of this equation. So that uh, when we take the log on both of the sides it will be written as log of 1 to the power of m equals to log of 5. So after that uh, here we use the nice property of log and we move this m to the front of this log and it will be written as m times of log 1 is equals to log of 5. So after that we move this log 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as m equals to log of 5 divided by log of 1. So here we see that the value of log of 1 is equals to 0, this value equals to 0. So if this value is 0, it means that this equation uh, cannot have real root. So here we just write this equation has no real root. So uh, this equation has no real roots, it means that uh, this equation has complex or imaginary roots. So now we move towards to find uh, these roots of the given equation. So here we use the nice Euler's identity uh, and we know that about Euler's identity. So here we use this Euler's identity. So this identity uh, is stated as e to the power of e to the power of iota theta is equals to cos of theta plus iota sine of theta. So this uh, identity is known as the Euler's identity. So if uh, we uh, check this Euler's identity is hold for the value of theta equals to 0. So if you can substitute theta equals to 0 here. So it will be written as e to the power of iota into 0 equals to cos of 0 plus iota sine of 0. So here we see that the uh, e to the power of 0 is equals to 1 and we have cos the value of cos 0 is 1 but the value of sine 0 is 0. So uh, this is 1 plus iota into 0 and finally we get the value of this Euler's identity e to the power of iota 0 equals to 1. So, uh, if we uh, write this Euler's identity in general form, so it will be written as in this form e to the power of uh, uh, 2k pi iota. This is equals to cos of uh, 2k pi plus iota sine of uh, 2k pi. So, uh, here our k uh, is the value starting from 1 to 3 and up to so on. So <coughs> now we check the behavior of this identity for the different values of k. So uh, so that now first we substitute uh, k equals to 1 in this uh, general Euler's identity and we see that the behavior at k equals to 1. So when we substitute k equals to 1 the left hand side is written as e to the power of 2 pi iota is equals to this is cos of 2 pi plus iota sine of 2 pi okay so uh, here we know that the value of cos 2 pi is equals to 1 but the value of sine 2 pi is 0 because we know that the value of sine at all multiples of pi is 0 but the value of cos for even multiple of pi is equals to 1. So this value is equals to 1. Similarly, we check at k equals to 2. So when we substitute k equals to 2 in this equation, so it will be written as e to the power of 4k pi is equals to, uh, because we, we substitute the value of k equals to 2, so this will become 4 pi iota is equals to cos of 4 pi plus iota sine of 4 pi. So here you remember one thing is that the value of uh, sine 
of uh, some even multiple of pi is equals to zero but the value of cos of some even multiple of pi is equals to plus one so here this e is denoted as the even number this is even multiple okay so uh, you just remember this important thing and we use this thing and we just calculate some values of k so after that you see here because this is even multiple of uh, pi so this is equals to one and this is even multiple of pi under sine so this is zero this value equals to zero so this whole expression equals to zero so the value of e to the power of 4 pi iota is equals to 1. So similarly uh, we will check uh, the value of uh, uh, this expression at k equals to 3. So when we take k equals to 3 so its left hand side is written as when we substitute this k equals to 3 so 2 3 is a 6 so it will be written as e to the power of 6 pi iota is equals to cos of 6 pi plus iota sine of 6 pi. So uh, here we simplify uh, this expression and uh, you see here we have uh, so this is even multiple of pi it is equals to 1 and this is even multiple under the sign so this expression equals to 0. So we have the value of e to the power of 6 pi iota is 1. So generally uh, we just say that the value of e to the power of 2k pi iota is equals to 1. So uh, because uh, our given question statement is we have 1 to the power of m equals to 5. So that uh, here we take the 5 fifth power on both of the sides mth power on both of the sides okay so uh, when we take mth power it will be written as 2k pi m iota equals to 1 to the power of m and uh, in the given question statement we have the value of 1 to the power of m is equals to 5 so this implies that uh, e to the power of 2k pi m iota is equals to 5 so here we take the log on both of the sides so it will be written as a log of e to the power of 2k pi m iota is equals to log of 5 so here we use the property of log and we move this exponent to the front of this log and it will be written as 2k pi m iota into log of e equals to log of 5 here we see that the value of this log e is equals to 1 so we get 1 times of this value is equals to 2k pi m iota equals to log of 5 and here we move this 2k pi iota to the right hand side and it will be written as m equals to log of 5 divided by 2k pi iota so this shows that this is the value of m where our k equals to 1 2 3 and up to so on so this is the final value of m and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos